Okay, now have a look at this question. So we have a magnetic field and we have a coil of wires. Okay. So what's happened is now as the field being reduced, so somehow the magnetic field has been decreased. And in what direction? So P to Q or Q to P will the current flow. Now Yep, okay. Now let's use Linz's law. Okay. Remember Linz's law? So when, well, originally uh, the wire, the loop are happy. Okay, so when the magnetic field decreases, he is not happy anymore because inside him the magnetic field to the right decreases. So what does he wants to do is he wants to generate some magnetic field inside him. Okay. So what I can do is okay, he wants to the wire this time wants to generate magnetic field in that direction. Use our right hand grab rule, try to grab the circle. So if you try to point your finger to the right and grab the, the circle, you can say that the direction of current, which is your thumb, must go like this. Okay. It must go like this. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so there is a magnetic field to the left generated by the loop. And uh, if you trace that direction, and uh, you can say that the current actually travel from Q to P through the ammeter. So it's Q to P. Now, yep, let's go to the next question. Okay. Um, yep. Now the next question is graphs. Now have a look at those type of questions. They are exam style questions, so you are expecting to do this in the final exam. Okay, so what's happening is here is a flux. Well, here's the uh, graph for flux and time. And uh, they ask me to sketch the voltage, the induced EMF over time. Okay. Remember Faraday and the Linz's law? Let me write it down. The EMF is minus the number of coils and uh, the, ch the rate of change of magnetic flux over time. Okay. So this is a sound graph. If you do math, you know that this is a sound graph. So when I try to find the rate of change of this graph, it will be a call sound graph. But however, I need to put a minus in front because basically uh, and it has 40 tens. Okay. Yeah, and it tells me uh, the peak voltage of the induced EMF, which is 2. Okay, so that's the peak. And uh, yeah. And it tells me the speed is 10 revolutions per second. Okay, so 10 hertz. So the period must be 1 on 10, 0 0.1 second. So I need to label all this in there. Okay. So I need to differentiate first and put a minus in the front. Okay, so now have a look. Now at this point, at the initial point, the rate of change is the maximum. The rate of change of magnetic flux is the maximum according to mass. Okay, at those points, the maximum. So 
So and uh, if you look at the direct the gradient of the graph, okay, the gradient is positive. Okay, so I should have two here. But Linz told me I need to put a minus in the opposite direction. So in this point, the EMF will be minus two. Okay. The gradient is positive. That's good. The gradient is. Now let me just go through this again. The gradient is po the gradient is this part. Okay. The gradient is positive, but we have a minus in the front, so it's going to be a minus, and it's maximum minus maximum. Okay. Maximum is two. Then look at this part. It's a turning point. At the turning point, the gradient is zero. Okay. So the rate of change of magnetic flux over time will be zero, thus induced EMF is going to be zero. Okay. Again, at this part, the gradient is negative, but if I put another negative in front, it's going to be a positive. So I should have positive 2. Okay. Again, at the turning point, the rate of change is 0. Here, it just follows. So label all this. Sorry. So follow all this each points. Okay. Then you can sketch a cosine, basically a minus cosine graph through it. Remember, it's a cosine graph. Okay. It's not, don't sketch straight lines through it. Yeah, I'm sorry for the bad hand drawing, but that's the best I could do on a computer. So, yep, down. Little bit off. Okay. Now the next part will be labeling the time. Each period is zero point one second. So let's label it. From here, from the tip to a tip, is one period. So that's zero point one. This must be zero point zero five. And uh, this must be. 0 0.0025 seconds. Okay. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and uh, here must be 0 0.25 seconds. Okay. Yep. Now let's go on to the next question. So. Uh, again, it's also really hard since so if you need help, give me a call and I'm happy to help you do this. Okay, now this question appears sim simpler. We have the change of mag magnetic f uh, magnetic field in here and uh, I need to find a voltage. I need to just sketch the voltage graph measured by the wall meter. Now, have a look. So, from 0 to 1, let me write it down. The induced EMF is minus N and the rate of change of flux over time. Okay. So, since this is not this is magnetic field, it's not magnetic flux, we don't have to calculate. Uh, so in this particular case, we don't have to calculate the maximum vo uh, the voltage, okay, but we need to sketch it. Now, what I can say is, okay, the gradient, from 0 to 1, the gradient is positive, but with the minus in the front, it becomes minus. Okay, and it's a straight line, so, uh, the rate of change is constant. Okay, so draw a constant line in the minus part. This all came from mass. Now, suddenly, the magnetic field is flat. 
Okay, so there's no change of magnetic field in the between one and two seconds. So what I can say is the rate of change is zero. Voltage is zero. Now from two to four seconds. From two to four seconds, the magnetic field decreases. The rate of change of magnetic field over time is minus. Remember, in mass, this is positive gradient. Okay. This is negative gradient. Okay. Between 2 to 4 is negative. However, with a minus in the front, it becomes positive. But have a look at the gradient. The actual value of the gradient should be less than uh, the first part. So when you sketch it, just it's going to be constant since it's straight line, but the amplitude, okay, the value should be less. So if this is A, it must be minus 2A down there. Okay. And uh, yep, and uh, this down. Okay.